hello good morning everybody so in this video i'm going to talk about how we can create html form so as you know the very first thing we are going to do is go to site and create a new site and uh, just make one page site and you know that we are doing it with the help of microsoft expression web 4 so that's our file here so today we are going to talk about how we can create form so form is basically an input area uh, in html where user can supply some input and they can expect some output they can supply some values through the form some inputs and uh, the web page should respond depending upon the input you supplied so the tag that we used for creating form is form and obviously end of form will be there and if you want to give some area to this form we can have field set that is just giving you some rectangular area and if you want to give name to this form you are going to use legend so thus html demo form Now you can just save it and preview the output on your browser. So you can see some HTML form has been created here for you. Okay, so for the field set, what I can do, I can provide some style equal to, and then I will say width maybe, mm, let it be 30%. You can check the output now so that's a form we can see now form basically have different input fields and uh, we are going to start with first input field input type as text and then placeholder placeholder is basically the name that appears that helps end user to understand what kind of input is expected here so placeholder is a uh, your name and then do this save it and you can check it now just say your name let us give some style to the input so inside the head section can have some style and this we are going to do input and we are going to write as height as say 25 pixel and padding left as say 10 pixel So again check it so you can see some height near and there is some padding so you can enter some name here like you can enter john so this is your input area that you can have this is the first field that you can have second is we're going to make br here and also i will give some margin maybe five pixel and let us see now second input is copy it second is password that we use more frequently password and then you can just write password and then input that all forms has type as submit submit is basically the submit button value means the caption of that button we are going to write submit and do we need anything else i don't think so so just keep it like this so submit we are going to keep at the end and then you can see here so your name password and then you have this submit button 
margin is not working so margin is here this should be able to see the output yeah that's okay now so you can enter your username here like say john password you can write any value here so you can see the difference between the text and the password and then you can submit here next input that we can have is input type as number so placeholder for that is for that is enter your is so this also looks like a text only but when you see this now you see these up and down buttons there so you can see and whenever you are entering some value like say 100 now the counter will go up by this number go down by this number okay so this is the way we can have some number entered then just going to copy this copy it and make some more inputs so next input is email and then it will say your email So I'm going to check it. Now you will see that email also looks similar to this, whatever we have there, like this. We have this. The only difference is when you don't have proper email format and you press the submit button, you will get an error now because you said email. So it is looking for proper format of email. So write that at gmail.com and then it should not mind. So it's okay. So that is the difference between a normal text and an email. Similarly, we have URL. So you can have URL here. Placeholder for that is website address. Then you have input type equal to date. These are the new feature they are coming basically in HTML5. So placeholder is enter the date of training. Check it. Why we don't have that input? Oh, sorry, my bad. Input. Check it. So you see, you can see this calendar here. When you click on it, it shows you the calendar. You can select some date. Okay. You can have this date input, and then you can have input type as color okay and then you can say something here choose background color again you can see you have this now color and you can choose this whatever color you want to choose okay you can see the color coming here Another input that you can have is input type as radio and then placeholder is say mm, higher highest qualification. And then you are going to write the name here. So it's say master. And we need more, so you can just copy this. And 
and then you can have high school and you can save it and check it there so master or high school you're going to have now if you want that only one should be selected either master or high school but we need to do we have to give both these inputs same name so name equal to say qualification same name equal to qualification that means both will have the same name that means they are representing the same value so now you do master or you do high school only one at a time will work now for the next input we are going to have checkbox so input and then we have type as checkbox this is for selecting multiple values so you have a checkbox so again i want to keep it same so this is a master and then we have another checkbox and we see here so high school so let's see it check it now so you can see now master high school but this only one will be selected these are the sum of the inputs that you can supply and uh, you see how your system responds back now the another input that we can have we'll just take two more inputs and then we'll close it so the next input we can have is select select is basically used for selecting multiple options so it's a kind of drop down you're going to say option so you will say car and then you say option you say bus and then you say option and you will say train these are the media of your transportation so high school after that i'm going to put a br here and then i will write medium of transportation so we are going to select only one check it now so medium of transformation you can see now this is car bus and train and after this you can just put a br and then it will be more organized so you can see now medium of transportation you can select from here and that will be your medium of transportation last one we are going to talk about is the text area text area is basically for the long feedback if you want to give so text area will say rows how many rows you want like say five and in rows how many columns you want column so columns equal to say 100 or maybe 150 depending upon the resolution of your computer and then here we are going to write give your detailed feedback and then you can just show br so it will create some text area for you where you can provide some information like you can see here this is your feedback yes and you can do this and this so that's all we have for this how we can create a form and how we can process it. Thanks for watching and have a very good day.